We'll be taking a look at broadcast trip to Washington last week, and then Austin will bring us the news of last night's volleyball uh, regional quarterfinal game versus the top-ranked Centennial Titans. Eagle Nation News starts right now. <laughs> Good morning, Prosper. I'm Kristen Neal. And I'm Caleb Barnick. Uh, here are a few things happening around Prosper this week. FCA will meet on Friday at 745 in the MPS. If you are a senior and need transcripts before Thanksgiving break, you must request them by November 19th by 3 p.m. Our campus book drive will take place now until December 12th. Please bring new or gently used books to the front office. Donations will go to children in the Prosper community. That's all of the announcements. So, uh, Kristen. You guys went to D.C. last week. Yes. It yeah, was. What happened? We went um, to a journalism conference. It was over 6,000 people. It was amazing. We learned a lot about um, the First Amendment, mm -hmm. and Bryson Sharp has the story. We live in a rapidly changing world. With the increasing rise of YouTubers and bloggers on the Internet, the unique role of journalism is changing. Despite the change in technology, a new generation of journalists is rising and the staff members of Eagle Nation News and Prosper's Yearbook recently traveled to Washington, D.C. to be part of a movement that will usher in the next phase of American news. Actually, right after the midterm elections, there's a lot of um, political news at the moment and being able to be there in the middle of a very um, news-friendly time is a valuable experience. Also, um, that's where things like Watergate were uncovered, and so you have the chance to be somewhere where a lot of um, news history was made. You know, you're out there in the real world, and it, it was, that's, that's probably my favorite part about the trip, is because you got a taste of what it's going to really be like as a journalist, and you go through the a day in the life of a journalist, and it was, that, that was my favorite part of the trip. Over 6,100 students from around the country traveled to our nation's capital, where many top reporters practiced their craft and where democracy, politics, and media converge. The goal? To re-examine the First Amendment of the United States Constitution as it applies to the scholastic journalists. The thing that affected me the most was probably the emphasis on the First Amendment throughout the entire conference. Um, I learned a lot about how press law works in the um, scholastic press law specifically and what we have the right to say. I learned how to better my photography, how to be a leader in the classroom, and how to present myself in public for my school. While in D.C., journalism students had the rare opportunity to hear from reporter Bob Woodward, who, along with Carl Bernstein, uncovered the Watergate scandal that took down President Richard Nixon. Other keynotes include Jay Harris, the lead anchor of ESPN's Sports Center. Students were given the opportunity to explore current issues and work with top broadcast teachers in breakout sessions throughout the conference. Journalists are the people who, like, check and keep people in check, like, like if a, if a president's doing something bad, journalists are right there to, to point out that they're doing something bad. And like, for example, Richard Nixon, uh, a journalist is the one who shed the light on Watergate. So, you know, Benjamin Franklin actually said, journalists are the watchdogs of American democracy, and I couldn't agree with him more. Not only did Prosper students come to learn, but they were also recognized for a myriad of achievements. Eagle Nation News came away with many of the nation's top awards. Former sports anchor Elise Parker was awarded the best sports feature story in the country. Nicole Phillips was recognized as the second best news story. And Eagle Nation News was named the seventh best in show and highest ranked daily live show in the United States by the National Scholastic Press Association. Um, it definitely gave us more ideas on what other schools are doing and um, how they're winning awards and what we can do to better ourselves to win those awards next year. Um, and so there's just lots of things like um, different stories that they've been doing that could be interesting to us or just different ways of getting people involved. While the digital revolution is rapidly reshaping the American landscape, the students at Prosper High School are leading the way. What they bring back from D.C. is a renewed passion and commitment to not only bringing you the news each and every day, 
but to engage you as they reinvent the way we consume news for the future. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Bryson Sharp. Thank you, Bryson, for that story. We hope that all the students who went on the trip can apply the things that they learned here in Prosper. With Eagle Nation Sports is Austin Garcia. Thank you, Caleb. Our Eagle Volleyball team took on the number one ranked Centennial Titans last night in the third round of the Texas 5A State Volleyball Playoffs. And if you missed the game last night, I feel bad for you. But we've got you covered, so let's check it out. Last night, the Eagles faced an old rival, the Centennial Titans, who were the number one ranked team in the state. The Eagles once again took a while to get the third point, so the Eagles student section had to wait a little until they could shed their black and go crazy in their white. Once the ladies had their students behind them, they propelled ahead and took control of the match, making the Titans look pretty small, taking the match 25 to 17. The second game was not even close and it looked like the Eagles were playing for me again with the final score of 25 to 12. The third game was a little too close for comfort as the Titans were playing for their season, but ultimately didn't stand a chance against the Eagles who wanted it more. The third game was 25-21 to and the game was all said and done, adding another sweep to the Eagles record. Yeah, um, my name is Trey Maynard, Prosper Eagle Volleyball super fan. I just rode around. I just rode Go around on a man for the past five minutes, chanting, "We're going to state," we're because right. honestly, we are. We're going to state, and we're not going to stop. She's going to state. She's going to state. I'm going to state. The Eagles play the Waxahachie Indians this Friday at the same place. So pack the stands again, just as much as last night, and get just as hype. For Eagle Nation News, I'm Austin Garcia.